My name is Stefan Hanschuh. I'm a biologist by training. Since 2012, I work in the imaging core facility at the VetMed Uni Vienna. And there we uh, support all different kinds of imaging related projects, both in image data acquisition and also in data visualization and analysis. Our university is actually the only university or faculty uh, for veterinary medicine in Austria. Uh, and this campus, it accommodates uh, both um, an animal hospital, so this is uh, all the clinical departments, and we have a lot of uh, preclinical research institutes. So there's a lot of uh, different research going on, both clinical and uh, preclinical research. We are currently a group of four people. This is one of our labs, um, microscopy lab. We offer a couple of, of instruments to our users, so a couple of, of light microscopes, confocal microscopes, spinning disk microscopy. We also offer micro CT systems for X-ray uh, microcomputer tomography. We especially aim uh, at supporting our users in producing quantitative data and getting uh, measurements out of their images. And in addition, we also try to help them to make really nice visualizations. This is, of course, uh, um, possible with uh, 3D software visualization tools such as Amira. So using Amira, we can um, measure, quantify the size of organs, of tissues, of cells, we can do very complex visualizations of microscopic tissue anatomy in 3D. And of course, we can also bring together and fuse data from different imaging modalities. So we can bring together data from a clinical CT, MRI. We can also fuse data from X-ray microscopy, light microscopy and electron microscopy. So all of these options to handle 3D data, to visualize and, and analyze 3D data, they really offer new insights and, and deepen our understanding of whole organisms or single cells. So very often we initially design a data analysis pipeline and then we show them to the researchers, we discuss and fine-tune and adapt a little bit and after that we train the users to carry out the whole pipeline on their own and this is really fascinating so people that never worked with this software they get trained and after a couple of hours of training they really uh, start uh, to, to do this work on their own and carry out quite complex um, tasks on their own. Amira includes virtually any function one could imagine when it comes to high-end image processing, uh, segmentation, visualization and analysis and I think this immensely broad functionality it, it makes it quite unique. We use actually hundreds of different features. So this includes um, image segmentation. This includes image co-registration of different data sets. It includes uh, advanced uh, processing, image filtering. It includes quantitative analysis. And of course, it includes all different kinds of visualization tools. So from volume rendering to um, polygon surface meshes, to point clouds, to vectors, so all these different kind of uh, types of visualization tools. Furthermore, I really like uh, that Amir is very open. So it, it's, it's, it's open um, with regard to integration of uh, deep learning networks, but also uh, for integration of, of, of MATLAB code or Python code. So this is also great. For people who are interested in um, using the Amira software, I actually would recommend them to download the free trial version to try the software on their own in the best case with an experienced Amira user to explore the full functionality and obviously um, researchers they have very different needs and demands for software some researchers will end up with another software package, package that uh, fits better to their specific uh, needs but I think many researchers in the biological and biomedical disciplines they will really acknowledge the broad functionality of the Amira software that really combines so many tools for processing, segmentation, visualization, analysis of image data. And I think many of them will identify uh, this software as, as the best tool for their needs. Working with three-dimensional images, it's really great. Even after 15 years, um, it's fascinating and having all these great hardware and software tools at hand to do these impressive uh, visualizations and this powerful analysis, it's really, it's really great for us.